Hey guys, it's Sarah with ExtremeTrain.com and today we have a review and install of the Barricade Tubular Rock Sliders fitting your 18 and newer two-door Jeep Wrangler JLs. These rock sliders provide side protection and double as a convenient step with their stylish gusseted step pads. These steps feature heavy-duty tubular stainless steel construction with a textured black powder coat finish. So I do want to point out that if you are a more aggressive off-roader and you like the look of this rock slider, there is another heavy-duty option that has an additional bar underneath for some more undercarriage protection. However, if you're looking for a nice budget-friendly rock slider to give you a little side protection, this one is an excellent option. Coming in at around $230, this rock slider is on the lower end price-wise, but for your money, you are getting some decent side protection, and this doubles as a convenient step. I'm giving this install a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It can be done in approximately two hours and features a direct bolt of installation. Now one thing to note is that this slider does bolt up to your body bolts and those can be a little bit difficult to remove so it may take a little longer for install. All right, with that said, let's jump right into our install. For this install, we used a small pry bar, an 18 millimeter socket, a small extension, a ratchet, and an impact gun. All right, so before we can install our rock sliders, we need to get underneath our Jeep and remove both body bolts at the front and the rear. So we're gonna start at the front of our Jeep and remove this body bolt with an 18 millimeter socket. Now ours have been in and out a few times, so it should come out easily, but if this is the first time you're removing this bolt, it may fight you a little bit. Moving to the back of the Jeep, remove this body bolt using an 18 millimeter socket. You might need a pry bar or something to pull downward on this bolt to remove them. They are kind of tricky at this point. So with our body bolts removed, we can now bolt up our rock slider. Before we do this, you want to make sure to place the included spacer into the front bracket here before we get it bolted up. Starting at the back of your slider, line it up with the mounting point and use the existing bolt to mount it up. You may want a friend for this step to help you hold up the other end. Grab an 18 millimeter socket and tighten this down. With the back bolt in place, grab the provided bolt and get it threaded into the front mounting point. Make sure that you're passing through the spacer when you do this. Grab your 18 millimeter socket and tighten this down. All right, so that is gonna do it for the review and install of our rock sliders. Remember, for all things Jeep, keep it at extremeterrain.com.